I get this question a lot, but why would they lie? Why would anyone lie about the shape of the earth? Why would there be a worldwide conspiracy about just this topic? Like, what is the point to begin with? It's a really good question. Ish. The truth is, the people that ask this question haven't researched it. And don't understand that those who are directly involved in this lie cannot fully comprehend the minds of those who are. Therefore, the often repeated phrase, why would they lie, is more a cynical defense mechanism. Because we know it ain't a genuine question because yo asked and he researched it. So in short, we can't definitively answer the question of what their motives are. Agencies are receiving billions and trillions of dollars a year. Over the decades, how much money is that? Produced as little as rockets. Moon landing footage, technology to get back to the moon. All lost. We can never go back to the moon. Do you believe that? All these rockets end up in the ocean because of the firmament. You gotta think, maintaining this illusion is relatively cheap compared to what it would cost to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? It is one of the greatest scams of our lifetime. Besides being a moneymaker, what's the other reasons? The notion of outer space and the globe theory. The Big Bang Theory. It's all attributed to a materialistic worldwide view. It rejects the thought of intelligent design and replaces it with random, chaotic coincidences that we can believe. Because instead of intentional design for humans in the earth, we are taught that everything came into existence by accident or coincidence. You know, there are no coincidences. And then indoctrination. If we are spinning and hurling through space at thousands of miles per hour, how come the North Star and the Sun are still perfectly aligned over the Giza pyramids? Every year's on 8x8 eight eight, after all these millennia. Shouldn't all this rapid travel through space have caused their position to change? Let's talk firmament, people. What's a firmament, Auntie? Well, I'm glad you asked. The firmament is an impenetrable dome that is over the Earth. It is important. In fact, it is so important, it landed itself Front page on this book right here. Oh yeah, in Genesis 1-6. God placed the firmament over the earth to keep the waters from above and the waters from below separate, to keep us safe, to keep us dry. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And so it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. Might drop God. But auntie, if we have an impenetrable dome above us, how did we go to the moon? How could space travel even be possible? That's suspicious. That's strange. Actually, it's not because there is a firmament above us, an impenetrable dome that God placed there to separate the waters from the waters. Isn't it also strange how there are no visible stars in any of the pictures from the moon landing? And they are out there, literally, in outer space. Yet not a star to be seen in the sky. So there you have it. The truth about the firmament, the impenetrable dome that God placed above Earth that makes space travel not only impossible, but an absolute farce. Hmm. I'm about to show y'all how the seasons work on a flat earth. All of this comes from the book of Enoch, chapter 74 through 75. I'm gonna use the ninth Hebrew month from mid-November to mid-December 
And in the ninth Hebrew month, the sun rises in the first gate and it sets in the first gate. All in 31 days. I'm going to also use the 10th Hebrew month, which is from mid-December to mid-January. It rises out of the first gate for 30 days. And on the last day of the month, it goes into the second gate. Now, according to the book of Enoch, in the ninth Hebrew month, the sun rises out of the first gate or portal. And it sets in the first gate or portal for 31 days. The 10th Hebrew month, which is from mid-December to mid-January, rises out of the first portal. And it sets in the first portal for 30 days. But on the last day of the month, it moves over and rises in the second portal. Now, according to world data, Antarctica experiences its hottest months from mid-November to mid-January. Now, this is according to weatherandclimate.com. These are the hottest months in Argentina from mid-November to mid-January. Now, this one puts the icing on the cake. From mid-November to mid-January, Alaska has its coldest months and also no daylight. And it's been like this for generations. Look it up. Now here's a demonstration of how the sun and moon would travel in the ninth and 10th Hebrew months. Argentina will be right here. Antarctica will be right here, right here, and right here. And Alaska will be up in here. Everything that Enoch observed can be scientifically proven. Now, it's really that simple, man. The book of Enoch describes all of this. And if that didn't make sense to you, then just watch this video again and do your own research. All the weather and climate research that I have showed in this video, you can do it yourself. Now, for the people who gain knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from this video, I would strongly recommend that you grab you a book of Enoch and read chapter 72 through 75. It answers all your questions about the great luminaries. But I'm gonna continue to keep planting seeds through these videos to get people to go get this book. Truth bombs in Mario Brothers. Here we go. The earth is flat and stationary. The sun is local and set in the firmament. Hell and Satan exist. The dead can be and have been brought back to life. The spiritual realm is real and it's all around us. This world is tough and it's full of deception. Most everything is set against us. Moreover, we live inside a world. Everything that grows here, that lives amongst us, and the sky is all part of an enclosed world that we live in. The goal of this world is to make it out alive to the next world before you die. Luckily, we've been given the key. And lastly, if you know, you know. <laughs> This poor soul knows things fall due to its weight or density. However, he defends the Masonic lie called gravity. See how he knows things have weight and it's not pulled down by an external force called gravity. So you used something that weighs a couple of grams. Weighs a couple of grams. Weighs. 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 So he knows that if something is lighter than air, it floats like this helium balloon. However, if something is heavier than air, it will fall. This is called density and buoyancy. Gravity doesn't exist at all. With your help, we will prove that things fall due to being heavier than air. Let's do a test together. You will hold some items in your hand. Upon releasing them, if they float, they are lighter than air. If they fall, it's because they are heavier than air. 
If they float, say yes. If they don't float, due to being heavier than air, just say no. Does it float? Nope. 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 Things fall because they are heavier than air. Buoyancy and density explains it all. Gravity debunked. So you used something that weighs a couple of grams. Weighs a couple of grams. Weighs. 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 NASA bans the name of Jesus. Big shout out to my buddy Big Daddy Flirts a lot for sending me the article, and thanks to NASA for being the demonic people they are. We have this article. NASA bans the word Jesus. The name of Jesus is not welcome in the Johnson Space Center's newsletter according to the complaint filed on behalf of a group of Christians who work for NASA. Of course, immediately the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy as the Daily Beast puts out an article explaining this misunderstanding. Of course, the Daily Beast swings in with their fact check saying, No, guys, come on, it's just a misunderstanding. We just didn't want the word Jesus to be in the newsletter because it's, it's not inclusivity. <laughs> but the thing is, is a Christian group shouldn't have to have inclusivity. They're Christians. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christian. Shouldn't they be able to say the name of Jesus as religious freedom? I think so, but hey, Fox News says, hey, this is terrible, but look, Fox News, you're not safe either. Judging by that microphone, looks like you were a reporter for Fox, and uh, your station seemed to bleep out the name Jesus Christ. Now, I would expect this from another trusted news source. And that's in us makes us do those things, and the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that what's on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. It's understanding. Oh, and just like that, we lost. Do you notice that little oof she did when she heard him talking about the sin that's in mankind? Now I would expect it from an agency that's got a serpent's tongue in their logo that they wouldn't want the name of Jesus being spread out throughout their press. But, you know, it seems as if almost all media sources censor Jesus in one way or another. Exposing the only true map of the earth. Was the moon landing fake? I don't think so. Why? I mean, some things just don't add up. Like, why does the flag move in one video when there's no atmosphere or wind? Well, didn't they add a rod at the top of the flag? Okay, fine, but check this out. Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin signed a plaque with a moon rock in it and gave it to a guy in Holland. The man in Holland gave the rock to the Prime Minister, who put it in a museum. A geologist who was skeptical about the rock got the rock tested, and it turned out to be petrified wood. It was a fake rock. I would have beat their- Hey, watch your mouth. And in this one video, you see them jumping around the moon like they're on a trampoline and on wires. One of them falls and it looks like he gets yanked up by a wire. And I know the moon is one-sixth Earth's gravity, but you still need momentum to push you off the floor. You can't just use your legs and your abs and be like this. You can't Michael Jackson your way up. It logically doesn't add up. You can't get up like that. Bro, and watch this, watch this, watch this. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. What? So with the amount of progression in our technology, it's still a painful process to build this tinfoil you built prior? I don't know though. The burden of proof lies on those that make the claim. So if I go up to you and I say, I can fly, you're going to say, prove it. I'm not going to say, prove that I can't fly. That makes no sense. So the burden of proof relies on you. If you are claiming that we are living on a spinning globe, flying through an infinite vacuum of space, that's your claim. Prove it. Problem with that is you can't prove the earth is moving. Nobody has, nobody can, and nobody will because it's not moving. So if you have a claim in your mind, Prove it, not to me, prove it to yourself. Don't come to my page telling me to prove what I believe because I'm disproving what you believe. It's as simple as that. 
Hey, flat See, I got a praise inside of my body that won't leave me alone and it's making me shout. I know his power when speaking his name, so you gon' hear Jesus come out of my mouth. Went through a season where even the enemy tried his best at taking me out. God was giving me all of the strength I needed, so hope wouldn't turn into doubt. Now I'm alive, living this life with the truth. Jesus had opened my eyes, so now we can rise. They might not like how we move, don't matter, we walk with Christ. I hope you don't mind, might need to give me some room. You talking like everything fine, Stop I wasted my time. I don't just stick with the rules. If God say yes out of line. How's the persecution? You all think this is real when you have seen better graphics on a PlayStation 2. Look how fake this satellite is. That curvature is all due to a fisheye lens attached to a high altitude airplane. They get the footage and then edit the satellite in studio, easy to deceive the masses.